This is a problem that is similar to a mass spectrometer. Two things are happening. The charged ion is first being accelerated through a voltage, which gives it its high velocity, and then it enters a magnetic field, which causes it to go in a circular motion. So the first relationship that we need is that the electric potential energy of it, any charge being accelerated through a voltage delta V is Q delta V. We also know that kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared. Equating these two things allows us to calculate the velocity as a function of voltage. So the velocity of the particle after it's gone through this voltage would be 2q delta v over m square rooted. We'll call that equation number one. Now the second thing that's going on is that the particle enters a magnetic field, therefore it feels the magnetic force QVB, assuming everything's perpendicular. That force causes uniform circular motion, where we have MV squared over R is just MA from Newton's second law. And from this, we get that the mass can be written in terms of the charge, the magnetic field, the radius of motion, and the velocity. Call that number two. We'll now sub equation one into equation two to eliminate the velocity. So I have my QBR, and instead of velocity, I'm going to write root m over 2q delta v. It's flipped over because v is on the bottom. Okay, now we just have to work with this equation a little bit. I'm going to pull the root m out by itself. And I'm going to take everything else under the square root. So q squared, b squared, r squared over 2q delta v. Simplifying that just a little bit more. 1q cancels the one on the bottom. I'm left with b squared, r squared over 2 delta v. Now I can take that square root m to the other side of the equation. So that I've got a square root of m is equal to that quantity on the right, which is all under a square root as well. Okay, squaring both sides, I get the mass as a function of charge, magnetic field, radius, and voltage. Now, what this problem asks is the ratio of the masses of two particles given different charges and different radii. So I want to write this equation twice. I want to write it for m1 and for m2, and then divide. So m2 over m1 will be all these quantities for particle 2, q2. B is the same for both. I'm just going to leave it b. r2. And voltage is the same for both, so I'm just going to leave it delta v. Then for m1, I have to flip the equation over. So I have 2 delta v. I have q1 on the bottom. Uh, B stays the same, and now I have R1 squared on the bottom. Eliminating the Bs and the delta Vs, I'm left with the ratio of the Qs and the ratio of the radii squared. Now, each of those ratio are given. Q2 is twice Q1, and then R2 is twice R1, so it's 2 squared, and the ratio of the masses is 8.